I hate videos. Now you may be wondering, if I hate videos, what, what the heck the am heck I doing am here? I doing here? <laughs> afternoon good evening to wherever you are in the world today don't mind my blowing hair <laughs> we are live and everything is awesome please pardon the delay in um, starting today we were having a few technical difficulties but we're here and we're here to serve you thank you thank you so much to those who are tuned in know that we love and appreciate you and we're so looking forward to be being able to just show up and serve you right now um if you're watching live please drop us a comment and let us know where you're tuning in from we will be more than happy to welcome you to the conversation and i'm just so excited to be able to highlight my special friend, um, Coach David. He is here waiting for us in the green room. I hope you're enjoying the cookies and, uh, and milk I put out for you, Coach, <laughs> in the green room. Um, and again, if you're watching live, please, please, please drop us a comment and let us know who you are and where you're tuning in from. Before we move forward, I'd love to acknowledge our wonderful sponsors. So thank you so much to you, Kindness Inspired. Know that we appreciate you and we love you for all that you do, especially to inspire kindness all over the world. And if you can see my screen, you will be able to notice that, hey, I'm there at the bottom left-hand side, displaying, proudly displaying my kindness um, incorporator mug, because I am a proud kindness incorporator. So thank you again, Kindness Inspired. Know that we love and appreciate you. Thank you also to Way Beyond Measure for your sponsorship. Know that we love and appreciate you. And if you haven't heard of Way Beyond Measure, please go ahead and check out their website. Um, they are way beyond measure everywhere. So it's waybeyondmeasure.com. And what it is, is it's a program and movement that seeks to positively impact the minds and hearts of students, teachers, families, and communities. So please, if you are so inspired, please go and visit their websites and and just explore and find out if there's a way that you are able to collaborate with them. You know, I'm so excited to be able to start the show <laughs> that I actually haven't shared with you who I am. So if you and I haven't met yet, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Inga. And I am recognized as a networking ninja. I'm hired by entrepreneurs to help them develop a LinkedIn strategy to stand out and connect with their ideal community. Many of you that are watching today and others have no idea where to begin when it comes to networking, especially online. I am here to guide you through the learning curve and help you navigate this space that is so unknown to you. So please, if you're interested, please reach out to me. I would love to explore working together. And without further ado, 
allow me to introduce you to my awesome friend, Coach David Verdu. <laughs> Hi guys. I was I was sleeping in the green room. It's so comfy in here, and cozy. And uh, thank you for the the cookies and milk. Yum. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, awesome to have you. How are you doing today? I am doing fine. So uh, we are in Amarillo, Texas, heading towards Colorado, and uh, everything is just it's. I'm I'm learning to stop and smell the roses. It's it's I get ahead of myself a lot. So I'm just enjoying our time right now. It's beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful last leg today. We'll drive to Colorado Springs and then I'll get bombarded by my grandkids. It's gonna be great. It will be great, I'm sure. Um so before we go to anything else, could you please introduce yourself and let our guests know who you are and what you do, Coach? Absolutely. Hi guys, my name is Coach David Verdu and after about 33 years in a classroom and teaching, I thought maybe I could ride off into the sunset. Uh, that's not the case. God actually wanted me to do more. He wanted me to go way beyond measure. It was very verbal. And uh, since then, for the last 12 years, my wife and I have been traveling the country, going to schools all over the nation, um, reaching you know uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of students and uh, doing something very, very positive, just sharing with the community that uh, the more we talk about bullying, the more we talk about suicide, the more we talk about mental health, the more, the more, the more. Everyone's getting the definitions. No one's getting the answers. So we're trying to feed the answers to everybody. And we talk about tough subjects. And um, uh, so that that's that's who we are, waybeyondmeasure.com. The way that you put it, Inga, was like, is beautiful. We That's what we do. We, we want to impact uh, schools, teachers, families, and communities, um, and let them know, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Yeah, there are hurdles. Yes, there's walls, but I'll show you how to go over them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's good stuff, kid. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go to our comments, because I can see they're blowing up. People want to so, say hi to you. Did you just say, what's further verdu? <laughs> well, without further ado, yes, let's so. do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just don't overdo it. So. <laughs> I hello, apologize. I um, let's say hello to everyone. Hello, Katie. Hey. She says, uh, Katie, the manufacturing hype girl here, tuning in from a very hot and humid central Wisconsin. So happy. To know that it's Friday, yes. Hello, Friday. I like that. Friday. Thank you for being here. And then we have John, who is from up, John? Inc. And sorry, John is from Optessa Inc. And he says joining in from New Jersey. I'm looking for looking to close out the week on a high note. Come I'm on. Sure I'm sure that involves some barbecuing, right, John? Hey, John, no pressure. No pressure <laughs> on us, John. But we'll try to get you through, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I know um, John loves barbecuing, so I'm sure this weekend is going to involve some of that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello to you, Raven from South Africa. Raven is my niece. Um, Hi, Raven. She is. Raven... Pardon me, I think, well, she's 13, going on 14, but awesome to have you here tuned in. Thank you so much. Oh, wonderful. And we have Lauren LeKay tuned in from Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, Thank my you, goodness. Lauren. Thank you for being here. My brother used to live there. He was, uh, really? remember, he used to live in, uh, what, what did I tell you? Johannesburg, right? Oh, yes. You told me. That's what I told you. Yeah. So I don't know how far that is, but I'm sure it's a big um, continent. It's, so, more than, it's more than a thousand uh, kilometers away from Cape Town. Hey, I wonder if Lauren um, could tell me if they have schools in South Africa, because that would be so awesome. Can you imagine way beyond measure going to South Africa and doing some schools? Wow. Let's go. Anyway, yes. sorry. 
actually, uh, we can arrange that. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk about that. You go, yes. with, you go with me. Yes, I will. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Let's excited. go. Pack your bags. We're on our way. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, hello. Good morning to you, Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Uh, she's tuning in from Texas. Thank you for being here, Whitney. Awesome to have you. I'm looking Whitney, forward to our call. Do you know how to say her last name? I think it's Coke. Uh, it's Coke. I think because that's how my friend spells it. It might not be. It might be something different. Whitney, tell. Give us. Uh, give us your best. Uh, way to pronounce your last name so yeah phonetic fanatically phon hey phonetically. Yeah. that's the hello. word hello <laughs> to you patricia woodford thank you for being here um awesome to see you and then we of course we have some amazing networking going on in the comments and i'm just gonna stop and say this quickly if you're in the comments and especially on linkedin go ahead and connect with each other um, you're here because you're a heart centered, just like me. So happy to have you all here. Connect with one another. There will definitely be some opportunities um, for collaboration. And good morning to you, David Chrysler. Who, who is that guy? David <laughs> He says, this is going to be fire. Let's go. How come I've never met this guy? Oh, wait. Dave. <laughs> That's David. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've been working diligently on my website, man. You gave me some huge insight. David, hey, if you guys haven't contacted David, you should contact David because he's a guru, and it would be good for you to do that. David, I love you, man. Thank you for all your help. Yeah, he's an awesome, awesome person. Um, and you introduced me to him, so it's your fault. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you. You guys connected. He's awesome. Good morning to you, my beautiful sister, Shri. Shri Mahadev. Oh, beautiful um, name. Yeah, she is a beautiful person. Um, she's actually a coach. She helps people to get in front of the camera. So oh my you. good. Maybe I need her for coaching. I need her to coach me. I'm a little shy. <laughs> You what? Are shy? <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> well, and good I, for you. I love that. Good for you, coach. I see some awesome, awesome um, networking in the comments. And then we have Vicent. Could you please send this request to me um, uh, by. Uh, by DM, please. Um, it looks like we've lost Coach David, but I'm sure he'll uh, come back. I'll just continue going through the comments for a second. Uh, people are saying hello to each other. I love to see that. <laughs> David. <laughs> David says, don't forget to mention how much you love video, Inga. You know I don't like video. And most of the time, if you're on a Zoom call with me, I apologize, but my camera is turned off. <laughs> um, but thank you, David. I love how funny that is <laughs> to everyone. And Tri says how funny. So hello to you, Jawan. And I see my friend is back. Hi. It's Sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. If you know, if that happens again, just come back in. No problem. Oh, how do you say his name? Jawad Rafi. Jawad. Jawad. Jawad? Yeah, Jawad, you can you tell us where you're tuning in from, please? Um, it would be awesome to know. And wow. <laughs> okay. David, David Christ says, I'm not David. sure it can handle the personalities on this live. <laughs> yes, especially if we include all of you. Awesome to. Dude, just, did, you, did you forget your, to tell your audience to buckle in? There are straps on your seats, folks. Go ahead and buckle in as we get started. <laughs> we don't want them to fall out of the out of the train. There he is. There she is. Right. What kind Tree of coach? Tree says, what, what kind of cookies? What kind of cookies, coach? Oh my goodness. So I started out as an athletic coach. 
and I still like to think that I do athletic coaching, but um, it's everything's transferred over to uh, people. So, but um, for 33 years, football, basketball, uh, I coached with Colorado University and the Air Force Academy, and then I went to the Denver Nuggets for a year and a half. And uh, so a lot of basketball, a lot of coaching, but my favorite is just people. Uh, I tried to get away from the coach thing, but everyone has called me coach since I was 18. And so, um, yeah, um, I just, I, I just love, I like people. But if you ask me that question tomorrow, I might tell you, no, I don't like people. But if you ask me today, I, I, I like people. But so tomorrow I may not like people. But anyway, so and she understands what I'm saying. She absolutely 100 percent gets what I'm saying. But um, love to connect with you because I need to learn and you can probably teach me. So let's do that. I hope that answered your question. Thank you, coach. No, she actually asked you what kind of cookies I left for you in the green room. Oh, my gosh. Why don't I read the question? better? No, but you're on your phone. You can hardly see it. It's OK. What kind of cookie? What kind of cookies Duh, do I leave oatmeal for you? raisin. Duh. I'm that <laughs> guy. I don't do chocolate chip. I'm she oatmeal is. raisin. What? Those are those are some dad cookies, right? But no nuts. No nuts. You know. A lot of people don't like raisins. So I was up in Lubbock Monday. Oh my gosh. I go to Lubbock all the time. I speak at a church there and I go to a Mexican restaurant there. I think, and uh, uh Shri, is I that like where you picked your daughter up, actually? Uh, she's yeah, I'm in Amarillo daughter. right now. So I, I'm usually, sometimes I go down to McKinney. Uh, uh, where else do I? I'm in Odessa Midland all the time. McKinney, Decatur. Uh, where's that one one place that I love a lot? Um, oh, my God. Frisco. That's it. Frisco, Texas. So that that's where I've been. Nice. Around, sort of. And here I know is Gail. My friend, my sister, Gail. Gail says, good morning. I was at a Cairo after a tumble yesterday, but I'm on the mend. Talk about showing up yesterday. Yeah, you showed up, Gail. And thank you for my mug. I'm enjoying my coffee. She, Gail brought me this. It says, oh, Cairo, boy. That's comfort cute. and joy because my middle name is Joy. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Mine's pain in the neck. I don't know why, but people are like, oh, David, you're a pain in the neck. I'm like, is that my middle name? <laughs> but anyway, hi. Hello to you, Cindy. Cindy says, Cindy, Cindy with a Y. And she says, coming to you from sunny Cape Town. It's not fair that Cape Town is sunny and it's in winter right now, by the way. Just Wait, saying. Cape Town? Cape Town, South Africa. One of my favorite songs from uh, what's his name from the cartoon? Cape Town. I've just seen that song, dude. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Some people might say, understand what I just said. It was Lake Lake Hong Lake Horn Foghorn used to sing that song, Cape Town. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Anyway, sorry about that. No, that's fine. Um, Whitney says we say Koch. Koch. Okay. So, yeah, he was Coke. I don't know why. Or Coke? No, Coke. It was just, Coke. Anyway, wow. It depends on the person, um, really. I like oh it. Oh, my word. I have to say this. Oh, my word. Katie says, USA Manufacturing Hour. How about a trip to South Africa with Inger and Coach? Yes, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. And we have my... Oh, here, here. Okay, let me, let me, let me, so when I, when I talk about going somewhere, I, I'm not playing, and so I hope that you guys are serious, too, because I do go, and it's not about financing, or if we're supposed to go, we go, so if there's a school there, and I'm supposed to go, then we will go, and I'll do everything in my power for Inga to go with me, because I think it would be a powerful thing, however, you need to be ready because there will be results. I'm just, I don't, I'm not going to go unless we're going to win. I hope you guys understand that. I'm not going to play. 
Yeah. We're going to go and save lives, period. And that's what we do. And I don't, I, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, but I, I just want you to know that if you really are true, then let's, let's start setting it up and let's do this because uh, time is short right now. And I got off on a rabbit trail back into the, to the zone. Okay. okay. Who do we Let got? me uh, be the tail and reel you in. <laughs> Hello to you, my brother from another mother. Usama. Oh my God. Usama is an amazing person. Um, and he's saying, What's up, everybody? And Hi. how are you doing? Awesome to see you here, Usama. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Oh gosh. David says he owes you a phone call. Dave. Dave Chrysler says. So he's going to give you a phone call. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like we have a lot of comments. I just want to go through them quickly so that we can get to the topic. Um, and then Osama says, pleased to meet you, David. Love your vibe. Yes, Osama. By the way, coach, Osama has like tons of energy. And the two of you, I don't know. I think you're going to break the internet. If you're what's, what's my saying, Inga? <laughs> Come on, man. we've done it three times. I know, I know. Um, what, what can't you? What can't you do? What can't I do? No, what can't you do with me? And probably, uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know how to say. What well, you can't put a bee in a jar. No, Is I can't reel. I cannot reel the two of you in. So I'm not certain that I can have a show with two of you. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. yes. <laughs> because the boat, he, oh my word, you you have phenomenal energy. Wait, but, is he a duck or a squirrel? He's a squirrel too, but he's also a duck. It's weird. He's like, he's two in one. Uh, how do we call he's that? He's half duck, half squirrel. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody knows what we're talking about. What are they talking? <laughs> okay, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Let me say... Hello to you, Michelle Hall. Greetings oh, Michelle. from Cape Town, South Africa. Woo woo! Thank oh, you. Oh, nice. Um, by the way, I'm part of a networking group in Cape Town, so that's why you're seeing so many people. I would have never, ever <laughs> in a hundred years guessed that. Yeah. No. No. She starts off. Usama says he doesn't know where he's tuning in from. Usama, tell us. Usama is also connected to our good friend Russ, um, so you'll you'll probably see Russ also commenting later on. Oh my gosh, David says seats and tray tables in the upright position, please. <laughs> hey, if things start to get super heavy, there will be air oxygen dropped from the top, and <laughs> therefore, uh, go ahead and put it on most. yourself before you take care of others. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, hey, Nasreen, Nasreen uh, she is also, um, you know, I, I have to say, let me just stop and tell you this quickly. I am one of three children and I have two brothers. And I can tell you my deepest desire when I was a child was to have a sister. And it didn't happen in the natural realm. But God <laughs> has given me so many sisters in the last um, little while, it's amazing. So isn't that awesome? So I have eight brothers, no sisters. Wow. And so I think it would be reverse for me. <laughs> but sometimes, like when I was younger, I didn't know how to be around girls because I don't know. I thought punching everybody was okay. It was a brother thing. Girls don't get punched, dummy. It was just, it was one of those things where it was just, I didn't, <laughs> it was too many boys and pushing and punching. And, and then when you get with girls, it's like, okay. <laughs> and we never owned cats or pets. So I didn't really know the whole girl thing. So I, I, I've evolved because now I have three daughters and other daughters and friends and girl yeah so it's all good now i'm i'm almost better almost 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 
uh, Nasreen says greetings from Durban, South Africa. So thank you for being here, Nas. Thank you. My goodness. And we have, oh my word, this is the, the founder of Kindness Inspired, Elizabeth Mungo. Yes. Thank oh. you. Thank you for being here, sis. Awesome to have you. You are amazing. You Keeping are. You. Keeping Elizabeth. you. Love you. Thank you, Elizabeth. I, I definitely want to get their information. I want to look it up. And if I have to connect it to my website, I absolutely will. So, Elizabeth, let's talk I'll, a little bit. And, I'll uh, share that with you. I'll share the information thank you. with you. Well, yeah. yeah, that'd be great. And then Katie says this. Do you, can you read it? <sighs> Uh, if you hear the call, you must answer. That's right. Yeah. That wow, that's loud. I don't. Do you know what you just said? Because that is such a powerful statement. Thing is, is, uh, and we'll talk a little bit about it. Is uh, the per the reason people aren't hearing is because they talk and write too much. See. We're, we were never meant to do that all the time. We have two ears and one mouth. I think it needs to be used in that order. Yes. And I think about it that um, if you can't hear, you don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. Problem is, is we're over talking. We're over. We don't sit. It says yeah. peace. Be still. Sit and listen. Wow. And being a husband for many, many, many years now that I've learned that sit, <laughs> listen, you will get answers. Sometimes yeah. you can't fix everything, but just sit and listen. And then when you do listen and you hear it, now you have the call. Now you can go. But people are fluttering because there's too much noise. They're not listening. They're all over the map. I say yeah. sit, peace, be still. Yeah. Okay, that's a little tidbit. Sorry about that. Uh, wow. You know, yesterday I was on Russ's show, Russ Reels. Yes. And, uh, he, afterwards, him and I had a chat. And that's something that we spoke about, actually. Be still. So. Hard, I, hard thing to do. Hard thing to, especially when you're a bee or a kite and the wind is blowing. That's like putting a kite outside and saying, Stay. Yeah. When it's windy out, it doesn't know how to do that. That's not what it's made for. Yeah, I'm getting emotional. So Sorry, I <laughs> uh, I hear the message loud and clear. Be still. <laughs> Hello to you, Samantha Martin. Uh, she says, "Hey, beautiful." Hey. I don't know who she's talking to, me or you. <laughs> she's uh, talking to you. <laughs> no, she's talking to you. <laughs> Samantha, you need to be more specific. <laughs> if, because I don't know if guys are beautiful. Uh, guys are handsome. <laughs> Does it, you can't compare a guy to a rose. Only in, um, in the animal world, animal kingdom are males more beautiful than females think about the only it. thing i am when it comes to a rose <laughs> is a prick <laughs> <laughs> you're the petals i'm the prick <laughs> that's not funny that's not funny hey sis oh special guest she says nice to e meet you david yes sis no. you need to connect with david by the way um and Nasreen says, come on down to South Africa, y'all. <laughs> wow, she just did the prices right. I'm running. I'm coming down. <laughs> come on down. You're the next contestant in South Africa. Hey, I'm here. Wow, read this. Come on. I speak from the heart, coach. Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking about, Katie, is what you're talking about is that you have a yoke. So your yoke is easy. You've understood the yoke. See, in order to be guided or moved, you have to have 
like a harness. That's the yoke that they put on oxen. And that's what he talks about was how easy it is. Just make sure it's adjusted correctly and that your backpack is filled and stacked correctly or else you're going to be very, very unbalanced. And so good job, Katie. Woohoo. Yeah, she says, be still. He is with us. So thank you. That's good. Thank you. And Nasreen says, that's sound advice, David. Yeah. Um, hello to you, Charlene Brown. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh -huh. Awesome to have you here. Um, just, yeah, amazing to see you. Thank you, sis. And Nasreen says, you two are guns and roses. <laughs> oh. Where do we go? Oh, 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 oh. Where do we go? Oh. Hello, oh, Shannon. Shannon, no, says, Shannon says good morning. Good morning to you, Shannon. Good morning, Thank all. You. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we are half an hour into the stream and we're only getting to, you know, the topic now. So let's go. Um. Again, if you're watching live, please drop us a comment and let us know where you're tuning in from. It's just wonderful to see the networking that happens all across the globe. Um, and that just warms my heart so much. And if you watched my intro video, you will have seen a word that is not very well known to the Western world. That word is Ubuntu. If you don't know what it means, here you go. Ubuntu is an ancient African word meaning humanity to others. It is often described as reminding us that I am what I am because of who we all are. And Ubuntu, if you don't know this yet, Ubuntu is, it, it has roots in South Africa, just like me. And it is part of my life core values. I really truly believe in Ubuntu. You know, people will have heard the saying, we are the sum of the five people around us. But I take it a step further because I believe that I am the sum of all the people I've encountered in my life, as well as all the experiences that I've had. And the topic, of course, is the power of networking. And what is networking, guys? Networking is the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. Come so on. thank you for being here. Awesome to have you as my guest coach and awesome to have all of you in the comments. So thank you. We appreciate you. Let's move on to the topic. And I just want to um, ask you some questions so that my friends that are watching can learn from you. I'm ready. Yes, coach. You know, this show is called Inspiration from Inga. So let, can you share with us what inspires you? Wow. You? So what, what inspires me are the things around me. Um, I, I'm inspired by looking. I'm inspired by watching. I'm inspired by... Uh, movement. And so when I see people, I get excited because I see potential in them. What they can't see, I can. Uh, as a coach, my biggest thing was to put people in the correct position so they will succeed. Okay. If, if I have somebody that is a tremendous outfield, but he can't get the ball over the plate, like as a pitcher, then I, I've got to put him in the outfield because it's not working out for him as a pitcher. Doesn't make him any less than anybody else on the team. He's the yeah. same, same person, same everything, but we have found exactly what he's supposed to be. So as a coach, my biggest thing is what inspires me. It's you guys. I, I, I love, I love people. Um, I love what they're about. I love what they mean. And I love to see them grow in integrity and honor and respect and character. And that's what we talk about is our character program. And um, so um, 
you guys just keep moving forward. Keep doing the things that you're called to do. And it does inspire me because uh, I want to be that person. I'm I'm Uncle Fun or the oomph. You know, <laughs> it's, it, when it comes to it, it, the true statement's true. Yeah. I know that everybody can, as a teacher, they're sharing in their classroom over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And the teacher's frustrated because they're not getting it. And then I come in and I share the same thing and they get it. Who was more affected? Yeah. Both of us. Mm. Why am I Uncle Fun? Because I never told them, no, they can't go somewhere. No, mm. you can't do this. No. Mm. So they think that, wow, he's the most inspiring person in the world. Well, whoever doesn't say no or whoever you haven't hung out with the most, that's going to be your personal guy. You yeah. know, the more you hang out with somebody, the closer you get, the easier it is to become uh, offensive. So just remember that um, you you will uh, hurt people and make mistakes and just remember to pick them up and keep going. So keep inspiring me, guys. Uh, yeah, I've been hurt, but it still inspires me because I understand that they're human. Yeah, that's wow. I love that, you know, because you understand that they're human. So you show them grace probably. That's, that's absolutely. I think uh, more grace to people outside of my mm -hmm. uh, connection than anybody inside my connection because I you you come to know their heart. Remember what I said: the closer you become to somebody, the easier it is to infect or um, offend. Um, offend. Yes, it, it just listen, we don't mean to. It's not in our no. nature but we just we tend to you know hurt people's feelings and um like i said the closer you get to people but anyways if they understand who you are and that you're just trying to do your best then you know please guys networking is simple networking is you can't be alone that's networking yes i no, want to I like therefore who is anything that you want to do right now it's you're just going to go do it better so find out who it is that's done and be inspired by that person and get going. I've told Inga, David, uh, whomever else that I need help. Period. I can only go as far as I can. I need yeah. your help. Yeah. And we only, we're all blessed with different um, talents, right? And, but, you know, on, a, on its own, our talent can only go so far to make that impact. But when we band together and bring those talents together, we can make such a big impact. So why don't we? Uh, okay. Let me ask you another question. When you were growing up, um, who was your role model and why? Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Great question. Um, an absolute 100% was my dad. I grew up with a great family. I had a lot of brothers, always someone to play with. But my dad was an influencer. My dad would not sit back. He, I have eight children, and they're not going to stay at home. There's no way. So my dad started things. So he moved into a new town called Petaluma, California, just north of San Francisco. And he started in the late 60s and 70s, uh, baseball leagues, soccer league, um, a whole bunch of different sports activities that are still going today. My dad has a complex named after him in the city of Petaluma. Um, he was a huge influence. And I remember going with him when he was the president of California Soccer League, when he was the vice chairman of youth athletics for the state of California. And I got to go with him to these uh, round table events and at the time I didn't understand what it was but that mantle got passed to me and I don't take it lightly because when your father gives you a mantle that becomes even more powerful because there's fold meaning all that he's done popped into me you get it that's why it was so powerful in the old and new testament for the son to receive the blessing 
Yeah. And that's what I felt. I felt like, not that my other brothers have it, but I get it. And it was to be too hard for me to explain to them because they don't follow like I follow or have a relationship that I have with, with God. But yeah. they also, they understand who I am. I'm their go-to. When it comes to spiritual stuff, I'm the go-to. When it comes to wedding, I'm the go-to. When it comes to funerals, I'm the go-to. When it comes to people who are injured, sick, go call David. He'll pray. It's. I feel honored. Don't don't shy away from that. Be be the light. Be the salt. Uh, my father's an amazing, 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 amazing man. I miss him dearly. He died at the age of sixty-nine from cancer, and. Um, Huge, huge impact in my life. And uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, I will say something, you know. One of my favorite quotes I'm going to display it for you says, life is about making an impact, not an income. This is by Kevin Cruz. That's and you know, the reason why I like it so much is because I strive to make an impact daily. Um, my life statement actually is to positively impact the lives of others. Yeah. And I, I strive to live that on a daily basis. Um, what's yours? What is, what is your life statement? Uh, I inspire people to influence others. Love that. So it's continual. So there's no stop. There's no period. It's dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Now, what? so if I've inspired you, now what are you going to do? Yeah. So inspire people to influence others. Go ahead and write that down. Yeah. No, I don't know. Don't write it down. Just memorize it. She's writing it down, folks. I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't write that fast, nor can I type. Why not? I can never mind. <laughs> never mind. That, and that's why Inga's my coach. Why can't you? Why, why? you, you can't because can't never try. Weight broke the wagon and can't never try. Yes. That's another one. You wanna you wanna write that one down. What's what do you mean weight broke the wagon? <laughs> I was told I was told in my life to wait so much. Wait, wait. The timing's not right. Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait. And here's the problem is as a young person. If you don't understand how to spell wait, you're in trouble. I spelt it wrong. David, you're amazing, but you need to wait, W-E-I-G-H-T. <gasps> hey, you're almost there, but you need to wait a little bit. <gasps> oh. Not W-E-I-G-H-T, knucklehead, W A. IT. They that wait upon the Lord renew their strength. They that fill up their backpack with weight will be weighed down. Mm. It's different. Mm. And Let's go to the comments uh, and say hello to some more people. Hello to you, Kennethia Jackson. She says, uh -huh. She's, she is the founder of Business Breakfast Club and a previous guest of mine. And she is in Cape Town, South Africa. She says, hello. So she makes breakfast, my favorite meal of all day. Favorite. Bacon, bacon, bacon. <laughs> when we when we go to South Africa, we should go to one of the BBC meetings. Kenny, we're inviting ourselves. <laughs> I hope yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Inga's going gonna, Inga's gonna to speak, and I will bring my notepad to you're going to take see notes. You. <laughs> Kenny, make plans for us. <laughs> and then we have Katie saying karaoke. Oh, with oh Lord. <laughs> nope. You sing, you're a I knew it. I've never, gonna sung, sing out. I've never sung here. And I don't know where she's getting this idea from. <laughs> if I hate video, why would I sing on one? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's fine. He's so funny. 
Hello to you, Emily Harmon. Thank you for tuning in. Um, amazing to see you here. Just Hi, Emily. You. Emily is amazing. She's also connected to one of our friends, Russ Hedge. So definitely connect with her, um, Coach. And she says, sometimes people have to hear things a few times. Wow. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Whatever. Not me. Sometimes people are not paying attention. What? Uh -huh. Did you say something? Yep. <laughs> My wife and I just had that discussion yesterday. <sighs> you don't listen. No, no. That's not really a true statement. It's you didn't get my attention first. Mm -hmm. So I could listen. Because mm -hmm. if I'm in the middle of something, remember, I'm a squirrel. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of focus. I mean, there's focus, yes, because I got to get up the tree and I got to gather stuff. But yeah. you need David. Okay, now you have my attention. What? Right? But if you just... Blah, 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 Huh? You don't listen. The TV's on. The rip. I get it. But yeah. yeah, listen. I love it. Yeah. Candace Melander says, bossing out here, we definitely need each other. Yes. You're so right. Um, and some awesome commenting going on and networking in the background. So happy to see and hello to you chinedu thank you for tuning in can you tell us where you're tuning in from please um just curious to know <laughs> what a beautiful name wow shannon says beautiful statement thank you and jonathan says hey i just jumped on late and yes bacon <laughs> i'm hungry dude jonathan <laughs> hey, dude, next. You're going to break your equipment, Jonathan. You keep jumping on it. <laughs> so it says, hey, I jumped on late. No. Stay Jonathan, off your equipment. Jonathan is, Jonathan is, um, he was my guest two, two shows ago. And um, he's a squirrel, too. <laughs> does he get food? Does he get free food? And it's not breakfast time where he is. He is in England. He's in the UK. So. Oh, he's MacDonald. It's not McDonald. Yeah. See, it's M-A-C. There's no just M-C. <laughs> I apologize about that. He still has the, he still has the M-C. I think that uh, free burgers for you, Jonathan, for a year. <laughs> go, go tell him I said. Good luck. <laughs> Hello to you, Sheree Lynn. She says, from Long Island, New York. Thank I'm you. coming. I forgot. To, I'm going to share with you what's happening because um, I'm going to be at Niagara Falls in how far is Niagara Falls from you? Not far. I'm coming to see you um, this summer. It's tr my wife and has already said yes. We're going to instead of flying out, we're going to go take a trip and go through town and then go to New York and do a couple shows and then to Myrtle beach. And so just take a, 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 a trip like that instead of jumping in on an airplane, going to a different country. And I don't know, I'm, I'm not nervous or scared, but I just, I don't want to go do that. You know, I, I don't want to be around a whole bunch of people that I, I, I don't know. And yeah, so just go with my wife. We can feel, safe and and so she said the the only reason of way i'll go is if we get to go to the canada side of niagara falls and i said yes, yes. and then there's somebody the that we have, to go, we have to go visit somebody and she said that's fine and so we're coming to see you yes soon. i look forward to that it's it's not far it's about well uh, we're talking less than two months which we're planning it right now um uh, super excited so anyways but yeah, Long Island, I'll be there. It's, I want to see how long that island is. Yes, right. <laughs> Chinedu says he is tuning in from Nigeria. So, Oh, my thank goodness. You. Thank you for being here. And Kenny, Kennethia, uh, we call her Kenny. She says, you guys are welcome anytime. Brecky will be sorted, David. So 
What? Who? Brecky? What's that? Breakfast, Brecky. <laughs> Breakfast will be sorted. Your favorite meal of the day. So she's going to... Is that what? Brecky? What? Yes. Did you guys call it Brecky? <laughs> yes. It's a... Um, it's the English shortening for it. <laughs> Charlene. And let's see. Oh. Chineo says he's joining in from Nigeria. Yes, we from Nigeria. Nigeria. Wow. <laughs> This social media thing is pretty amazing. Yeah. I would have never have met you, Katie, if it's not for yes. a duck called StreamYard. Whatever. <laughs> I just I'm blown away. It's like <laughs> I'm talking to Katie McDermott. The from original South. MC, she says. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then why what am I doing? If you're the original, then <laughs> I can I can be done, right? Wow. Yes. Okay, let's go back to our discussion. Thank Come you, on. everyone, for your comments. I'm just going to, I need to ask some more questions before, like, it's 50 minutes in, we, um, and I need to ask a few more questions. So, what's your take on networking, uh, coach? Like, how do you go about it? Uh, I think I'll sum it up with this. You can't do life alone. Um, there's so many great resources out there that it's it's not a matter of someone else is already doing it. I know, but you're not. And if you're called to do it, then you need to do it. But networking is an opportunity to pull from people that have already been doing it, and then you do it better. Yeah. Look, I, I get it. Jerry Rice is one of the greatest wide receivers of, of all time, but he's not there no more. So now someone else is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Coach Purdue's not going to be here forever, and I'm not going to be able to go and influence people, inspire anybody. But I'm not going to lie, because I've apologized for many, many, many years. Like, I'm so sorry. I, don't, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. If you get me in front of people, I'm not sorry. No. It's done. It happens. It's just a powerful, but it took me 40 years to find my calling, people. It took me 40 years for someone to hand me a microphone and go, hey, do this. And when I did it, hmm. it was in me. It was the sauce being poured over spaghetti. It's all there. The meat, the sauce, the flavor, the garlic, the everything was in it. It was delicious. So networking is an opportunity for you to grab things that have already taken place and make them better. Yes. Networking. That's yes. you. The only person that's not networking is you. So if you say, I'm going to start networking and I'm going to do this, do it. The world is big. It's okay. There's plenty of room in the end. Start networking. But if you don't jump in the water, then you'll never get started. Yeah. And I will say um, one thing ab with regards to networking, you know, um, is don't focus on a business relationship necessarily. Don't focus on, on the money that you can get if you connect with someone. You need to connect heart to heart, not business to business. Okay. Right? So... What she's saying is don't chase money, chase people. Yes. So people are more important. Everything else will be taken care of. If a bird lands on the outside of my house, I can look at that bird and say, oh, my gosh, how beautiful. What have I done for that bird? What have I provided? Nothing. It's all there for him. It's all been provided. He's good, but he's got to hunt. Everybody's out hunting. So in yeah. other words, um. Flap your wings and go look, go find, seek. I've never, ever, ever was able to find my keys by sitting on my couch. I had to go look, get up, right. and go look. So, and you can do it. You can absolutely do it. Yes, yes. Um, I'm not sure if I've told you, but I am. I sit on the executive board for a nonprofit organization. Uh, I don't think I've told you this. 
it's called hot to hot business. And what we're seeking to do is to change the way that people do business so that it's more hot to hot instead of B2B, like we always say, B2B, B2C, um, you know, because what we want to do is we want to impact not just the businesses, but the communities around them, right? Here's, so, here's, a, business, here's a business thought real quick. Mm -hmm. If you receive someone's money, it'll keep your doors open for a day. Yeah. If you receive someone's heart, your doors will be open forever. Seek hearts, not money. People yeah. ask me all the time, how much? You can't afford me. I tell them that, Inga. Huh. How much for you? Oh, dude, if you're asking me that question, you can't afford me. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not spendy. I'm not that guy to yeah. bring me to a freaking conference to pay me twenty five thousand dollars. No, man. Sorry, no. I, I don't even know if I would even accept it. Now I'll take some of it, because, but now I want you to take the rest of it and help somebody. I don't need yeah. all that. Yeah, just keep getting me in front of people. You know, yeah. pay me ten keep the 15 and get me to the next event. I'd rather do 10 at 10 th than one at 25. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, seek, people. seek people, seek people. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, you know, LinkedIn is my favorite platform, right? <laughs> if you don't know that now you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Coach, like, what do you do? How do you use LinkedIn? Uh, can you share a little bit about, you know, if you do you have a process? If do you not have a process, or and how do you meet people on LinkedIn? I think you just keep yourself available. You just keep you you post and respond. Now, I haven't learned the whole thing, but I know that. Someone once said, hey, do something, do a real nice post and tag, you know, people in that area. You know, you can tag them. And then when you're done, wait a little bit and then go like what you wrote and then put a comment because you're going to get more people to see what you're doing. My thing is, is if people, if people are searching, they'll find you. If people are truly looking, they will come find you. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to put your content out there. Yeah. You put your content out there and you follow up. Um, people say, well, you're an evangelist. Hard for me to be an evangelist because I don't like leaving people where, you know, you go in for a day and you do something and they're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to do that. It's not a not that change it doesn't happen there's going to be a process called sanctification or purification where the junk rises up because of the heat <laughs> they yeah. cut it off and your gold is getting even more purified so it just i say keep turning the heat up get yourself in front of people the right people will connect with you you yeah. don't want everybody i'm telling you right now yeah. You don't want everybody because, unfortunately, everybody's not going to be there for you. Uh, yeah. They're going to be the anchor, and you don't want an anchor. You want somebody that can be help you set the sail. Yes. Okay. You want the right the wind is blowing on everybody. It's not whether the wind is blowing. It's, it's how you set your sail. Yeah. Set yeah. your sail because the wind's blowing. If you have an anchor, I don't care how great your sails are. You're, only, you're going to be tugging back and forth because it yes. wants to go, but it can't go. It wants to go, but it can't go. Yes. Release the anchor. Let yeah. the wind blow. Set your sail and follow up. Understand your course. Yes. Follow up. Understand your course. Follow up. Stick with those that stick with you that have jumped in your net. Get rid of those things that aren't supposed to be in your net. Yeah. I watch uh, The Deadliest Catch. The deadliest catch is crabs off of whatever, Mich uh, Massachusetts or Boston, whatever. 
And when the nets come in, there's a bunch of fish with the crab. So they take the crab and they put it in. They take the fish and throw them back. Understand what you're fishing for. Because yes. you're going to get things that you have to throw back. And don't be afraid to throw them back. Yes, I love that. And uh, I'd like to actually address something that you said. Because uh, you said somebody told you that, you know, a good way is to post something and tag people in it. Well, um, LinkedIn, the way the LinkedIn algorithm works is if you tag someone in a post and they don't respond, that is not good for you. So the best is not to tag someone in a post, but rather tag them in the comments. There you go. There's your nugget, guy. That's that's what y'all needed right there today. <laughs> There's your nugget. Okay, that's good. I didn't. I think I would. I put them in the post sometimes, and okay. then I wait. But I do. You, you're right. I get a better response when. Yeah, and, um, and what in the comment. Is then you know, not many people will see it because the people that you tagged are not even coming to your post. So, um, let's go to the wow. comments one more time. It's okay. There's lots to learn about LinkedIn. And I can tell you that, you know, I'm I'm still learning, even though I teach LinkedIn to people. I'm still learning. Um, there are so many different things that change as well. So, you know, you have to continually uh, keep on it. Um, but let's go to the comments and then we'll come back for your final thoughts. Because we're Perfect. already an hour in. Yeah, because I get to get on the road and go to Colorado Springs and see my grandkids. Yay. Yes. So let's keep going here. Oh, here we go. Um, Uh-oh. Cindy, Cindy with the Y says, can you see what she says? I like you too, Cindy. Listen, <laughs> I, I've been to hundreds and hundreds of schools, hundreds and hundreds of churches, hundreds of thousands of people, and I still haven't even touched what we need to do. Yes. There's plenty of room. I don't, we need a lot of people to be doing things to influence our world. It's just a fact. Yes. I love it, Cindy. Let's connect, girl. Hello to you, hey, 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 one of my favorite dudes. He's my duck. That's my Oregon duck. What's up, Oregon <laughs> duck? He's, he's not a duck. He's a beaver. And if you're befuddled, befuddled he's befuddled. Read, read Russ's book um, and live the life you choose. Yay for Russ. Russ is my favorite. Chinedu says, really amazing. Can she uh, be more specific? What's amazing? What, yes, what is, Janine, can you let us know what uh, what do you? Speak what of? is really amazing? Are you you? Here's what's really amazing. You are really amazing. Nah, you're amazing, Russ. <laughs> but we'll accept that. I love you. Thank you, Russ. And we receive. See, one of the hardest things is when someone gives you a compliment is to receive it. We push it away. But if Russ was to tell us <laughs> that. We're two goofballs on this. We would have went, oh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but when someone gives you a compliment, you are you don't know what to do with it. Just say thank you. Just say thank you. Thank That's you. great. It's thank good. You. It should make you feel good. Thank you, Russ. But you're better than us. You know that. I just tease him. <laughs> I, saw you first. I saw you first on Russ Hedge, Coach. Actually met. MC instead MC of MC instead of M. <laughs> I can include a R E. That's oh my! Right. <laughs> Are we friends, Katie? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, networking is just adults making friends and hanging out and chatting. Exactly. No, that's social hours. That's not networking. <laughs> There's different. And I, if you want to call me, I'll explain. Yeah, that that right there is for your church time or four years after the event or four years during a meeting that you all just went that's social time networking has got to have a bigger purpose so yeah. that because it's got working in it so it's net to bring together to put in a net 
and then the working. So what comes out of the net is the working part. Mm. Net, catch, work. I think what she's trying to say is just, you know, um, when you make friends with someone, you connect right heart to heart. And you will not be friends with somebody if you don't have anything in common. So when you I have something in common, right. you, can, you can actually um, build that connection. Right? And, right. And, and there's no wrong answer. There's just no wrong answer. It's collaboration, yeah. Good. yeah. Good and I good love uh, Whitney says, seek hearts, not money. Fire. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And some Thank you. awesome, awesome uh, networking going on in the comments. I love it. And Whitney, I'm guessing she um, she's speaking about tagging people in posts. She says she didn't know. I like it. Yeah. Um, Whitney's about to become a rock star. <laughs> and Cecilia says she didn't know either. And good afternoon to you. Cecilia is based, uh, by the way, she's tuning in from Cape Town, South Africa as well. Um, Katie says she's mind blown. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For what? <laughs> because of what I said about tagging people in posts. Um, nice. And Charlene says LinkedIn is constantly changing and growing. Exactly. Yeah. It is. Um, I'm not sure if people have seen this, but you know, if you go to somebody's profile, there's a bell. And this bell is it's fairly new it's been on linkedin for a few months and what they've done is it's basically like when you go to somebody's um, youtube channel you you subscribe so that you are notified when that person goes live right or when a new video is up but with linkedin if there's a bell you get notified you it comes into your feed when somebody makes a post because um, i'm not sure if anyone has noticed this, but a lot of the time you're connected to someone and you don't see anything, any content from right. them. But it doesn't mean they're not putting out content. It's just that you're not, it's not being pulled into your feed. Um, wow. So yes, go go to somebody's profile, click that bell so that it no. comes to your feed and you're able to so see So here's it. the new saying, Inga. Yeah. You guys, go and ring my bell. <laughs> Come on, ring my bell, baby. Ring my bell. Go go hit that bell. But dang, yes. dinner time. Let's yes. go. Especially if you want to be able to, to, to see someone's content and comment on it and interact with it, definitely go and ring that bell. Um, Cecilia says, I'm an amazing coach. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. That's a great answer. Good job, Inga. Kenny says, Coach Inger and Coach David, we loving the Nuggets. Oh my gosh, that was the team I coached for. So that's like sort of a pun. So I coached with the Denver Nuggets and she's saying I'm loving the Nuggets. Therefore, that's a bunch of Nuggets. Good job. Yeah. Um, Whitney is commenting on what, what I said. She says, it makes sense though. Why would LinkedIn serve up the post to others if even the tag people are not engaging? Exactly. exactly. Right, that's good. So, yes, tag people in the comments, not in the post. And like it. Katie says, I learned that if you edit your post in the first two hours, it ruins your performance. I guess the first two hours after you post is your golden hour. I actually haven't heard this, Katie. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's test it and see. You know, the thing is, like, like Charlene pointed out, LinkedIn is constantly changing. So you, you maybe today it's true and then tomorrow it's not, right? If they've if they've changed that, yeah. And here we have my friend Tim Sohn. He says, tuning in from Shahola, Pennsylvania. And let me say this. <laughs> Hello to you, Tim Sohn. Tim sent me this. This is a screaming goat. <laughs> I'm sure man, if you watched my show, you would have seen me do this a few times. <laughs> and the reason is because this goat, oh my gosh, it it has changed my mood sometimes. You know, sometimes when you're feeling a little low and you just go. I need a screaming goat. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> it is, and I will I like say, it. you know, before I go live, sometimes I have to hunt for my goat because it gets stolen by my family, especially my youngest daughter. Wow. <laughs> they love it. Everyone loves the screaming goat. Um, let's try to wrap up. I uh, see yes. is some nuggets given to us this afternoon. I'm grabbing with both hands. Oh, Cecilia, God bless you. It's afternoon in South Africa, yes. <laughs> and stuff. let's see. Tim says, team deflection. Yes, Tim, you're here. Whitney says, she's heard that too. So uh, maybe it's true. And Cindy with the Y says, definitely Coach Bacon is my favorite. <laughs> is Cindy in Cape Cod? No, where's Cindy at? Yes, she's in Cape Town too. Oh, see, see we got to get to Cape. I, I got to be there. Yes, That'd be great. We need to get there. And Whitney Koch says, it's that's a good way to curate your LinkedIn feed. I definitely see more from people that I comment on. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. <laughs> Whitney says, please put down that goat. And Charlene is laughing. <laughs> so, Coach... I know it's ele it's eleven minutes over the hour. Um, yes. I just want to ask you: Do you have any final thoughts for um, everyone that's tuned in? Listen, I am just I'm honored to be part of such a great network, and um, I know that what we do at Way Beyond Measure is not the all in all. It's just a piece of what is uh, part of the whole whole pie. And so my desire is to do whatever it takes to uh, help you in your community, um, schools, clubs, churches, parents. Um, I have a unique ability to um, reach and get people to do things. Coach is coach. And um, I'm just, I, like I said, I'm just honored, Inga and David and Kate, just everybody that's going to be helping me from this point forward. Um, you're welcome because I need you. Um, I, I've gone about as far as I can go. A song from Oklahoma uh, means that my website, which I'm working on again, it was so congested. And now just a couple books that I finished that came out last week. Um, it's the, 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 for such a time as this, now is the time that things are getting geared up. So I want you to know that I'm available. Um, I will be and do whatever it takes to help you. You can call me if you have children and they need to talk. Um, I love to help them. I'd love to get them in a position that makes them feel fantastic, wanted and somewhere to grow. So um, everything social media, way beyond measure, everything. Uh, so way beyond measure dot com. Uh, if you do need to get a hold of me and you just can't remember or whatever, you, you just get a hold of Inga because Inga is uh, we're partners in crime. And. Uh, <clears throat> yes. And again, listen, Inga's got exactly what I got. So if you need somebody, you can use her as well. Um, I, like I said, I'm not the last stop. Um, Inga's right there as well. So gather her up and then let's do something. Now, if you want the whole package, then you gather both of us up, send us to Cape Cod, and then watch what happens. Because it will be a tremendous week of just significance, of, of absolute fact. Inga, thank you so much. You are easily one of my top ten. And I appreciate you very much. And uh, you've been amazing for me. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you too. And I'm so glad that, you know, I was able to highlight you today. So thank you for being my guest. And, you know, I know you're in in the midst of waiting to, to, to get in your car and travel. So if you need to, um, uh, you need to go, that's fine. I will send you to the green room as I wrap up. But if you need to leave, that's fine too. Yes. Um, Thank you thank again. You guys. For being you here. guys, thank you so much. Again, go ahead and check us out. I'm going to like everybody back that is liking me. And then if you want to connect, let's do it because I got plenty of things that we all can do together. 
Make it a great day. I'm Coach Purdue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. Guys. Bye. I'll call you next week, girl. Call you next yes. week. Bye. Enjoy the weekend. Take care. And that wraps up our show. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Know that I love and appreciate you all. And it has been an amazing conversation between me, you, and Coach David Verdu. Um, just to wrap up, if you haven't heard this yet, let me tell you. I turned 40 on September 30th last year. And I am still celebrating. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's been uh, eight months, eight and a half months, but that's fine. I'm still celebrating because, as I told you before, my life statement is to impact the lives of others. And what I'm doing for my 40th in celebration, I'm asking you to help me celebrate by donating 40 minutes of your time to do something good for somebody else or $40 toward a special cause that is on my heart. Um, I had aimed to, to actually uh, put on an event when I was in Cape Town, South Africa earlier this year, but we didn't reach our target. So we're still raising funds to be able to do that. And what that is, it was an event. It's an event that we're hoping to put on because there are some women and girls that are impacted by period poverty. And if you don't know what period poverty is, period poverty is a lack of access to feminine hygiene products. And it touches the lives of many women all over the world. Some girls miss out on school. Some women miss out on work because they don't have access to these vital things. So if you can, please donate. Please go to my um, to this website. It's h2hb.com. And you can click on the donate button and select Period Poverty Project because we are still raising funds to be able to put on this event and address the needs for some women and girls in Cape Town, South Africa. Please go to h2hb.com and do that for me uh, if you're able to. And if you're not, help to support me by tagging your post about this. So it's 40 for Inga. Help me or, or spend 40 minutes of your time and do something good for somebody else. This is in order to help me celebrate my 40th. Um, and I will, be, I will be celebrating my 40th birthday until the 29th of September, the day before I turn 41. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in. Have an amazing Friday and a blessed weekend. And I'll see you back here next week for another episode of Inspiration from Anger. And in case you missed my intro video, I will play it as I leave. So take care, be blessed, know that I appreciate you so, so much. Take care. Bye now. I hate videos. Now you may be wondering, if I hate videos, what the heck am I doing here? 